What's up, everybody, and welcome to another Pokemon episode from your true list calendar. And finally, the Coral Coralie came. You know, the big reveal we've all been waiting for. The Poketuber news casters have gotten their fair amount of real news. They don't have to spread any more fake news because now I got the big leak. They're all this side from Coral Coral. And with that said, I'm just so happy to announce that I got a few pages of this, of course. The first is going to showcase, of course, how the game looks like. And isn't that marvelous? It is from 3DS. We don't see any pictures. The next picture is, of course, about the movie. Who doesn't want any more picture of that? And, of course, 700 months, 720 months even, though it's 271, of course, with Volcano, but whatever, whatever. Sam, Sam, what? What the fuck? Sam, 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 what is this? What is this? No, Sam, what is this? No, Sam, Calm down, Pokemon fan. Calm Sam, down. What? what the fuck? Sam, Sam, Sam. Okay, okay, that? everybody. Seriously, hear me out there. Before even you, of course, send those dislikes and call me a hypocrite because I'm making a video like this. You know, if you want to do that, you go ahead, whatever. But for everybody else who actually are enjoying me, <laughs> actually hear me out on this because it makes total sense they're not showing anything. I'll even went out on Twitter uh, the day before showing that they're, they're not going to show anything from the game. We're not going to see any new mons. I thought that if they're going to show anything, maybe new Mega Pokemon, you know, something that we are familiar with, we're not going to showcase anything new. You know why? Do you want to know why? There would be no reason showing screenshots if they have a finished engine. I, I do believe that they have already everything needed to make the game. I'm pretty sure it is in the finishing touches as of right now. But that's the thing. They always make sure that the game is close to ready before even showcasing anything. And if I remember correctly in X and Y, they didn't really showcase all that much. They had the finished engine in February, I believe. Uh, they showcased new starters, yes. But they didn't showcase any new mods. Uh, oh yeah, they actually showcased Puncho. But yeah, El Pan Sham. And after that, it was just the Mega Pokemon, the new Mega System, basically. And so it didn't show any new Pokemon whatsoever. And that whole true for, at least, I do believe, four to five months. It wasn't until actually E3 or actually in July where they actually started to show things from the game. And it still wasn't really any kind of screenshot. I mean, like, it took a long time for that to hit off. Same went for Auras. It actually took way, way longer for them to actually showcase real footage for the game, but it always started with a trailer, trailer about the game and you know, how the game looks like, how how vibrant the feel is. So we, all, we got screenshots to some extent in the first trailer showed us, but they were concept art. They're, they were not the finished concept or the finished product. And that's how they roll. And Nintendo has a big year this year, obviously, because of the NX, of course, which we actually don't really know too much about. We've got a new Zelda, which will obviously be released most likely this year on the holidays or the last quarter of uh, this year so there would be very little reason for the game or game free to showcase their, their game i'm pretty sure that they would have done that if they weren't in strict kind of rules from nintendo to not showcase anything and i am actually extremely disappointed that we still haven't got a date on that pikachu rice form because i'm i'm feeling that um, i deserve to know when i can buy this because i do like rice even though it tastes like shit. Yeah. If you haven't seen that video, thank God. But yeah, in all honesty, as as a company, Nintendo definitely has no reason to showcase anything. And um, I think the only thing we can take out of this reveal, I guess, is that we aren't seeing that this is from the other 3DS that Xenogears or Xenosaga, whatever it's called, was, was on for 3DS. This is the regular 3DS, which is... It's good that it is there, because that means that people aren't being forced to buy a new 3DS or Game Boy. <laughs> or DS, my bad. But in all honesty, just calm the fuck down. We're not going to see anything next week when they actually hit that, you know, that the next week is going to be, or next month is going to be next big reveal. That's not going to happen. Have that in mind. That is not what's going to happen. The, the closest thing they'll get is actually to those kind of black silhouettes. Uh, it would make sense, or like I said previously, that is showcasing familiar mods in a new form. That's that's the only thing I can get out of this. Like I said, there is no reason for them of showcasing anything uh, about the new game unless Game Freak showcase something first. Uh, if they haven't done that, Korokoro most likely won't, won't do that either, and that's okay. That's more than fair. Now, obviously, I do believe the new movie... Uh, which I do believe has its release in June. Um, 
I can't, can't be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that that movie is going to showcase even new Pokemons uh, outside of Meganea, uh, Meganea, whatever, that fairy steel thingy. <laughs> what I was trying to get at is that that's probably the only way we're actually going to showcase it. We're going to see new Pokemons outside of what Game Freak is going to reveal. And I do believe E3 is the only thing that matters. It might be in a Tokyo Game Show later that, I just, which I believe in mid-August. But that's the, those two dates, are was good. it's either June or August. And I'm pretty sure it's E3 because there's where most stockholders is actually preserving their money for. And it would be a great way of showing everything that Nintendo has planned for, for the holidays. I made a video like this before where I should try to explain why we're not going to see anything. But I feel that I kind of have to restate this because I actually feel... I, 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 I think this is hilarious. I, I love every second of not any big game reveal whatsoever because I know it's not going to happen. And also because I really love watching other... Pocket tubers hype this thing up and it just blows in their face. I, I love it. It's uh, it's delicious. Like you, you kind of get you, you kind of click those kind of feelings. You like just mmm, smurgles board of feelings of hate. Mmm, just gonna simply lovely. Keep doing what you do, guys. I love you for it. But anyway, guys, I really hope you understand the whole concept. Don't get your hopes up. There, there are not gonna be anything big revealed unless Game Freak allow that to happen and. It feels like they're on the strict restriction of Nintendo because of how big E3 for Nintendo is this year. Now, hopefully I'm wrong. I, I really, I always hope that I'm wrong. When it comes to this thing, I really am. And that tears me apart inside. It actually does. But I hope you get a good glimpse out of it. And I hope you can enjoy everybody's suffer because I do. I love it. I think it's great. And I... Really, really, really want to see more of this. Uh, I really hope everybody is excited next month because then I can just kind of laugh even more. I'm feeling like a douche. I really do. Uh, but anyway, guys, don't forget to like. One like equals one bought rice form. Once I get my hands on that stuff, damn, I'm going to buy the shit out of that Pikachu rice form. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I see you next video. Until then, take care. Bye. <laughs>